Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight, we are drinking a bottle of bourbon that I never saw on a shelf until recently, ever. This bottle comes in a box that I don't have because I threw it away because it wasn't that good of a box. A 100 proof, single barrel, 10 year, weeded friggin' bourbon. And this son of a bitch will make your hiney itch because it's so good. This is a Patreon cork pop shout out to a very special patron of mine. He is six foot four. He has 54 inch biceps. His abdomen is uh, presenting the world with a 44 pack. His body fat percentage is in the low 1%. Thank you, Mr. Starkey. Friggin. This Patreon cork pop shout out goes to Patrick Starkey. Patrick Starkey. Thank you for your support. Rebel Yell, single barrel, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Sweet oak, sweet cherry oak. Sweet raspberry cherry oak. A raspberry fritter a raspberry fritter from the bakery they took a raspberry fritter and they put it inside of an oak box to to prevent tampering and then you the, but they had to poke holes in it so that the fritter could breathe they, they thought that the fritter was a critter and then you stuck your nose up to the oak box to get a whiff of the fritter and the raspberry fritter came through the oak to your nose and was like Here's the smell I'll deliver. And you're like, that smells so good. It's like a fritter box, a raspberry fritter box, handcrafted according to our original time-honored recipe since 1849. Rebel Yell Single Barrel is aged a full 10 years to provide a rich, rebellious flavor. Couple things. First of all, handcrafted according to our original time-honored recipe since 1849 is BS because this is sourced from what we all believe is Heaven Hill. Handcrafted according to our original time-honored recipe. You, you didn't even make it. You got it, you got it from a friend. Your friend made it. You're, and you paid him. You paid your friend to make it. It's not your recipe. You didn't do it. Stop acting like you did it. Say, we paid our friend to make whiskey that was similar to our time on recipe there i just made, i did it for you because guess what i am a superhuman superhero super eyes superpowers and i can see through you i can see through you and i could see through that lie it was a fib it was a fib on the label and that's not okay i don't really like that a rebellious flavor <sighs> this has a rebellious flavor by the way I'm frustrated about it. Mm. Mm, that's rebellious. Oh wow, that's good. That's really good. Like, have some, have some dignity. Just cause the name of your brand is Rebel Yell. This is tremendous stuff. This is very good. This is very good. That was sweet oak maraschino cherries and vanilla vanilla coke a vanilla coca-cola oh man vanilla oh one of the cherry vanilla coca-colas cherry vanilla coke and you're gonna come out here and say our rich and rebellious flavor i'm gonna rebel against your marketing because your marketing is worth rebelling against the single barrel process creates a flavor profile unique to each bottle which is definitely true. The end result is an extra smooth sipping whiskey that honors the rebel in all of us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's good. That is, there's some honey, a little bit of honey. So stupid good. This could be in a different bottle and people would go crazy about it. If this were in a bottle that said, Colonel Rebel Yeller, or 
Let me see. George Rebel T. Elstag. Or Eagle Rebel Leggle Yuggle Rare. Rebel Gull Rare Gull. People will just go crazy about it. Oh my gosh, are you rebel enough? Join the band of rebels at rebelyellbourbon.com. I was mad about the rebel stuff before I even got to the back label. And they won't stop saying rebel. I'm not rebel enough. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. All I want is good bourbon. And if this is going to make me feel like I should probably be a rebel, then maybe I shouldn't drink it. Distilled and aged in Kentucky, bottled for Lux Shore Distillers, Bardstown, Kentucky. $60, and at $60, it's a must buy. You must buy this at 60 bucks. I never had one until this one, and this is so good. The worst part about this is the branding, and the labeling, and the rebelling. That's the worst part. Everything else about this is fantastic. They should put this in an Ezra bottle. Old Ezra 10 year single barrel. The only thing rebel about this bottle is that it's rebelling against itself because nobody is caring to buy it because it says rebel on it. And if they're rebel enough to continue marketing their best stuff with their worst brand, then they're friggin' rebels because <sighs> they're doing themselves a disservice. Kind of like the way I do myself a disservice by being stupid and not smart. But guess what, sometimes you can't help it. They put the government warning on here so you know they're not that big of rebels. Please enjoy responsibly, totally rebellious. My name is Matt and this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds with your mind on becoming a patron of mine and not rebelling against it. Just click on the, click on the Patreon link, become a patron, Support the channel, and don't be a rebel. And if you do rebel against it, then I will write you a strongly worded email apologizing for even asking you to do such a thing because I am weak-minded and not super strong. But you don't know that, so I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you that you should become a patron. You should hit the thumbs up. You should leave a comment below telling me how rebellious you are and you should suck on some Rebel Yell 10 year single barrel. That's so good. Good stuff. Good stuff. I love it. Mm -hmm. Ah, cheers. Mm.